Hello, welcome to Switched On Gaming, Paul speaking, and welcome to a look at a new game that releases today, the 19th of August in Europe, 24th of August in America. This is Rims Racing. This comes from Race Wall Studios, made up of ex-members of Milestone, who made the MotoGP games. This, as I say, is out on Steam today, but is also coming to the Nintendo Switch. So keep an eye out for that. We'll have more details about that later in the video. What I'm going to do for now is just dive straight into a race just to show you some gameplay. And then we're going to come back and have a deeper look into this one. Because it's a bike racing simulator. But also it's uh, almost like a mechanic simulator as well. If you've played anything like car mechanic simulator, those sort of games where you, uh, you know, replace parts on motor vehicles by, you know, digging right in there unscrewing bolts, removing pieces, exploding items and you know replacing them and putting it all back together again then you're going to be well at home here. What a great little feature to add to a simulator you know never seen that in a simulator game before so really really good innovation from Race Ward. But so we're just going to get into a little bit of uh, gameplay action here just to show you this. Holding down the clutch with LB we go I'll, sh I'll flick through some of the camera angles we're on a easy skill here as well so don't pay too much attention to the actual racing just really just to show you how this one performs which by the way is excellently whoa whoa lost the back end big time took that corner quite well as well that's a shame um, yeah so it performs really well got really nice sound effects in game, there's actually background music as well, which is quite cool for a simulator. I've uh, obviously turned that off, both because of uh, copyright, but also because the music shouldn't be in Sims. But if you do leave it on it, it's really good music. It's a great soundtrack. Well, something like the Beatroot Collective or something, they've partnered with them. But just try and, I'll complete a lap of uh, Laguna Seca in this angle and then I'll switch to some of the other angles. There's a really cool helmet cam. Oh, hard, hard, hard on the brakes for the corkscrew. Of course the most famous corner or one of the most famous corners in racing. Down the hill, left and right. And apart from that little slip earlier, it's been a pretty decent lap. It's one of my famous favourite tracks that I've recorded hundreds of laps on in various games, although that is very, very wide. So let's have a flick through the camera angles. We've got a closer chase cam. This is the helmet view. You can hear the uh, bike noise mute to simulate wearing a helmet. And this does that thing in bike games where it shifts the perspective of the rider which I personally don't like, but some people do. Very, very low. It's hard to tell how low you can go. Here is a different view of me crashing. Uh, here is a different version of that camera angle without a helmet on. So it's still the rider's perspective still shifts around, but no helmets you can hear the engine noise and your view's not quite as restricted but you still get this lean camera and then this is the camera angle that I personally like it's a handlebar view but without the perspective change so it just stays quite central I'd imagine if you're an actual bike rider um, this will be actually quite weird because you're not getting the same perspective that you get in real life but for a casual like myself it's good now what I really like as well here is that you can hear the gears being clicked through and you can see the riders hands moving on the handlebars but great view really cool when you start nailing this game and bike games are notoriously hard for me anyway to control but when you do nail it what a great feeling I just want to show you one more thing before we go back to the menus uh, let's go back to the standard view. If you press the menu button, or the share button, I'm not sure what button is on the Xbox controller. It's one of the two little squares, uh, options button, I guess. You get this, what they call the motorbike status check, the MSC. 
And this shows you all the parts of your bike. And you can drill into that and get more information. So you can see any damage. You can see there how the set up as well. When you're in career mode and you've got your own bike. And we'll talk about that in a second because it's really important. It's the main mode of the game. But you can't see all of the information at the start here until you start unlocking some... Uh, research points and getting in better staff and stuff then it sort of starts to unlock the hidden information but here you can see everything so here's the tire condition 95% wear tire pressure sort of tread really really cool isn't that such a cool feature and then you can just carry on so anytime during the race you can bring up the condition of your bike now it's really important because you are in sole control of your bike. Now what I mean by that is in the career mode, you have to look after that bike. Between races, it's your responsibility to make sure your bike is in tip-top condition. It doesn't automatically refresh for every race. You have to, as I said a little bit earlier, be mechanical and replace parts, all the new parts in, upgrade parts with, with you know better versions. So, for example, you can buy, you know, better brake pads. And then, you know, it's your responsibility to then fit them before a race. And, you know, literally fit them by going through fitting steps. So, really cool. So, what I'll do, we've seen a bit of gameplay here. I'll come back and do some career mode gameplay later on in the video. But let's dive back into the menu and have a look how the career works. And have a look at the tracks that are available and the bikes that are available in this one. So here we are, back at the main menu, we've got single player, online multiplayer, uh, settings you can change. Your rims card here, this is like uh, your statistics, loads of different stats about the game, and news and credits. So let's go into the single player. Let's first go into a single race and we can see what bikes and tracks are in the game. What have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bikes. Got the uh, Apria RSV, BMW M1000, the Ducati, Honda, Kawasaki Ninja. Actually, I'm going through them too fast, so you can't really see them. They didn't load in. So here's the uh, BMW. Different liveries as well that you can have. The Ducati, you have the liveries at the bottom. You can flick through. Absolutely stunning. Uh, Honda CBR, again, different liveries. F4 Oops. Suzuki GSX the Yamaha YZFR1 Variations. So that's the bikes, the tracks really cool here. We've got some circuits, we've got the Canadian Time Motorsport Park. Paul Card in France, uh, Zolder in Belgium, Fuji Speedway, uh, Monsanto Circuit, Nürburgring, short version, uh, Silverstone, Suzuka, and Laguna Seca. We've also got these road courses as well, got, uh, Atlantic Road, and they've all got a reverse as well. So we've got Atlantic Road in Norway, uh, Creta de Calabra in Spain, Great Victoria Desert Road in Australia. In Australia, a uh, million dollar highway uh, runs through um, Mexico. Uh, Paso San Marco in Mexico. Oh, it's in Italy. But there, that's pretty cool. Got some uh, circuit tracks and some road tracks. Really cool. You can change conditions of those. What I wanted to look at though is this uh, career mode. Show you around that. You start off with a uh, garage that you can build up over time. So we've got to the top floor here. We've got uh, what they call lodging, but basically where you can change your rider. So different uh, body types. And you can just set your rider up there. You can see how many rider points you've got. And you've got an archive there with stats and reporting. We'll come back to management in a second. You've got the basic settings there again, similar sort of thing to the main menu management here. Now this is where you can uh, unlock new managers for different areas and they give you different buffs. 
Whenever you complete races, and I'll show you the, the race calendar in a second, but you earn money and you earn race points. And then you can use those points to unlock things here. So this path here, uh, it's like the shop path, so you get better special offers. You've got the inventory path, so you can store more parts in your warehouse. A couple of these skill trees to look at. Let's go down to the bottom floor. We've got this uh, research skill tree. So this is what gives you extra information on the MSC. That's that path there. So you've got, uh, enhanced tire info, spring info, uh, suspension info, spring info, and opponent info. You've got uh, brake info this side, so pads and discs, and this side you've got weather info. So that way you can make sure that you've got the right part. So for example, if the upcoming weather is raining, you can make sure you've got uh, wet weather tires fitted to your bike. So again, it's your responsibility. We have got the motorbike stand. This is where you'll do uh, a lot of your fixing and stuff. So I'm gonna come back to that in a sec. I'm just gonna show you the calendar first, and then I'll come back to that. So in a season, you've got 70 events. Some you can skip and have a rest week. Some are multiple choice, so like this one here, uh, manufacturer competition, you can use the uh, right and the clock buttons to flick through different manufacturer events. And these are all held tracks, so that was at the Canadian Tire Track, Puget Speedway, Saker, Canadian Tire Track, to Silverstone. So, tend to go with the track that um, you're comfortable with. You get these things as well, this little symbol here, this little white symbol. These are academy events. These are like um, tutorials as you go along. So this one here, advanced tire and brake wear management. There's three conditions to beat there. And you get gold, silver, bronze, medal, depending on how many you pass. And how many you pass, you get different rewards. But there's a series of these as you go through the career modes. This one here, speed management. Uh, this one, fuel consumption, tire wear. So all different sorts of things here task events here like little challenges as well as straight up races it's not all um, things like that you get a tournament here a championship cups sponsored event here this is where you have a wrist break so loads and loads to do as I say 70 uh, events in a season and then when you finish the season you just wrap around and start again but obviously you know you've got all the upgrades and stuff so you're not going to be short of gameplay and content for us to do. But let's have a look at this engineering stuff. So, we've got the workshop, and this is where you can uh, change your bike, upgrade it, and make sure it's tip top. We've got the inventory and shop here, so you can search by category or brand. But look at the amount of things you can buy. So, I'm not going to read them all out because there's just loads, but just go down the list. These are all the parts that you can order in for your bike and it's pretty much every part on the bike you can order in individually and fit to your bike absolutely crackers so much stuff so let's just go into one let's go into so the grips here but you know you'd go in there and view the item on the right hand side yeah, so this is your inventory, sorry. So this is what's currently fit to your bike. And you can see a lot of it is in tip-top condition. Let's have a look, say, for example, the front pads. So you can see they were down at 64% condition on the right-hand side. And what you can do is press the uh, start button. And this takes you into the shop. And these are the amount of replacement pads you can buy. Again, just an absolute wealth of parts. You've got your money up in the top right hand corner. So we've got one, uh, 13,599 points. Let's buy it and fix some new front pads. So let's make sure that they're compatible. Akasato Carbon, 510. Let's buy the bag. So hold down the export to buy. Go back now to our inventory. We've got our front pads, 
front pads. There you go. So the ones that are fitted are here with a little bike symbol in the top corner. And these are the ones that we want to fit. Right here, the Akasatos that we just bought. So we go back to our bike. And it brings up this uh, view of the bike here with all the parts labeled. And you can see a lot of our parts are quite badly damaged. So we're going to go down the list on the side. We're going to go to pads front. Click on that. And now we need, if we want to replace this, we need to unmount them. So press X to unmount. And then you follow these steps. So we left stick round to unscrew. Left stick and A to remove the calipers. Left stick round again to loosen the pads. Left stick and A to replace the pads. So here they are. These are the ones that we currently got. The TT Pro Sinter 64%. We're going to press Y to change them. We're going to pick the new ones from our inventory. So we're going to go for the Akasato Carbon Ceramica. And we're going to go back here and we're going to fit them. So we're going to go to Mount. Do the steps again. So insert pads into calipers, left stick and X. Secure the pads, round in a circle. Left stick and X to fit the calipers into the discs. And then just finally screw in the bolts. And there you go, we've fitted new front brake pads. So really cool, and look at all the parts that you can replace. A lot of them have got multiple steps. Got flashing on the brake fluid here. I think we need to make sure that we add some brake fluid. never going to work. Come out to the track without any brake fluid. So there we go. So we've replaced our brake fluid. There you go. As I say, you can replace any of these parts. You can see from the shop how many parts you've got to buy. So, you know, if you know your bikes, if you know your, your parts and your mechanics and all that sort of stuff, you're just going to be in seventh heaven, I think. Now, we're going to try and take to the track in this beaten up machine. See if we can find an event that uses it and you can see the, uh, the effect we're going to have. Skip to... So we're going to have to do this um, manufacturer event. So we get to choose a manufacturer. Let's go. Don't, I'm not going to do the Seiko again. Let's do Seiko Carbon. Silverstone in the Ducati. We'll do this event and then uh, come back and have one quick last look at one of the road courses to see how that plays out. But you can see here it's a it's a racing sim with lots of innovation. Those those road tracks road courses you wouldn't get them in a motor gp game obviously uh, and also the spares and repairs part is absolutely brilliant for something a little bit different let's just skip the sessions and get to the race we'll do a, a lap maybe of silverstone in the ducati As I say, we are on a uh, easy skill level, so don't be concerned about that. It's hard enough keeping the bike on the track, let alone racing anybody just now, so I'm just sort of getting to grips with the game. I think when we do the road course in a second, we'll stick some weather on as well. Maybe do it in a, in a rainy condition. Handlebar mode again. And hang a straight hard on the brakes. Pray that it sticks. I love the way the, uh, the rider's hands move on the 
handlebars as well. A lot of these bikes also have like a fall indicator as well, so when you tilt too far, you get a light on the dashboard light up to sort of let you know that you're in danger of tilting or stalling. Oh, they're breaking far too late then, but we get away with it. Hairpin. Right, accelerate out of that. Wellington straight under the bridge. Hard, hard, hard on the brakes again. Coming up to complete the first lap. Oh, got a bit squirrely coming out of there. There we go. So what we'll do is we'll go back to uh, the menu and have a look at those road courses. So let's go back to the single race mode. Let's have a look at a different bike. Let's go for the Kawasaki Ninja. Let's go for the traditional kind of green. Let's have a look at the track. Let's do that million dollar highway change conditions so we're gonna go we're gonna brave it in the rain hmm light rain or heavy rain go light rain not crazy you can change the asphalt wear and the asphalt conditions it's good to me let's crack on see what this looks like so as I said, there is a Switch version coming later in the year. Uh, they're aiming for October, so keep an eye for that. Obviously, I'll be bringing coverage on the channel to that one. Uh, have a look, see how it compares. Obviously, it's not going to look as good, you wouldn't have thought. Uh, you've got to lower your expectations for the Switch version. Um, also, you know, we'll be looking for performance, really, making sure it performs okay. That's the main thing. I quite like the MotoGP games on the Switch. So hopefully it'll be something in that sort of area. So let's get into it. Let's have a look at the million dollar highway. Ooh, I've got an absolutely flying start right on the lights. I can imagine this is going to be pretty crazy in the wet. I'm hoping I've got wet tyres on actually. See the rain there gathering on the helmet, obviously. Whoa, absolute carnage, riders everywhere. Somehow we're up in seventh due to that big off. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Fence! Oh, he's definitely dead. Oh, got some real tight turns up here. This would be interesting. Slow down, Nelly. Yeah, it's just so slow. Those corners are so tight. Really careful on the throttle. That may be a uh, issue, obviously, on the switch, of course. No analog controls. You might be able to use the right stick for your analog controls. You can customize the controls. Yeah, look, beautiful these tracks. Well, course, I keep calling them tracks and tracks, courses. Look, really cool. The 
fans having bonfires at the side of the road there. But honestly, if you ride a bike, absolute props to you because I don't know how you do it, especially if you ride it at speed. I would be absolutely petrified. Slow down here for this square left. Loads of wheel spin. And then gentle on the throttle. So there you go. That's Rims Racing. Hope you've enjoyed that look all around the game. It's out today, the 19th of August on Steam. 24th of August on Steam for the America regions. And as I say, October, hopefully, for the Nintendo Switch version. Really glad these guys are supporting it on the Switch. It's a really, really cool racing game. And uh, it's a lot of unique stuff as we've already said so try and give them your support hope you enjoy it uh, and i hope you've enjoyed the video too please give me a thumbs up if you have please subscribe if you're new leave me a comment below what you thought of this one and uh, i will see you guys soon thanks for watching and bye bye